Hey there, Warren Gibbons with Saltwater Aquarium Secrets, and uh, today I wanted to show you, um, uh, or not so much show you, but talk a little bit about uh, doing water quality and the routine and how important water quality is. So uh, this is, uh, I'm here at uh, the Ocean Explorer, where I also work, I'm the curator here, in addition to running Saltwater Aquarium Secrets in Gibbons Aquaria, and here is a not so clean, kind of messy desk, and uh, that's where we do our water quality. It's not fancy, it doesn't need to be. And uh, the device we're using is the Palantest. It's a spectrophotometer, and uh, it tells us uh, very accurately, you know, what our uh, water quality parameters anywhere from um, calcium, it could be alkalinity, phosphates, nitrates, all the basics, um, nitrites, um, magnesium, and uh, then we all put it in a computer in a in a Excel program. And so we can graph it. You want to make sure you graph your water quality. That's the big lesson for today. Collect your water quality information when you do it, and then graph it. Because if you don't graph it, you can't see trends, and it's hard to look back in the future when you have a problem um, to find out, well, geez, why did this happen? And as you look back over time in the graphs, you can see spikes or drops. Oh, that's right. This is when the chiller blew out or when we had a temperature spike or whatever the issue may be, this is when we changed our light bulbs. You can put things like that in your graphs too. Um, so that's your pointer for the day. Um, make sure you do your water quality consistently and graph it. And thanks for uh, watching the video today. Go to saltwatercrimesecrets.com forward slash free help if you'd like a free phone consultation for 15 minutes. If you got a problem you need some help with, you think I might be able to help you, um, I'd love to help. Thanks very much.